Hello everyone. Welcome back to Galaxy Technologies. In this video, I am going to show you how to install SonarCube on your EC2 instance. To perform this activity, you should have a Linux EC2 instance and a database. In our case, we are using MySQL database. Either you can install MySQL on the EC2 instance where you are going to install SonarCube or you can run in a separate server. In our demonstration, I am using MySQL RDS instance, which is very easy to manage. And I can use this RDS EC2 instance with SonarCube. To perform this activity, first you need to launch MySQL database EC2 instance, sorry, MySQL database instance, which will take few minutes. If you are not aware how to launch RDS EC2 instance, please go through the URL, which is blinking right side corner right now. It have detailed information. I'm just logging into my AWS console. This is my AWS console RDS instance page. Under this, we have a database called SonarCube DB. If you click on this, it will show you the endpoint. Endpoint, nothing but kind of IP address to connect to your RDS instance. And it should have a username that is SonarCube DB. And also, this user have a password called SonarCube DB. That is about your uh, RDS instance and the RDS instance should allow the traffic from EC2. I mean to say to connect from EC2. For that activity, you need to allow the EC2 instance IP address in the security group level. Let me open the security group of our RDS instance. And this is the RDS instance security group in the inbound. If you see it is allowing the port number, sorry, IP address one. Uh, which starts with 172.32.31. I have already launched an EC2 instance for the uh, Sonar Cube installation, and I'm going EC2 uh, instance console. There is a server called Sonar Cube, and if you see the IP address, private IP address of this system, which, which starts with 172.32.31, nothing but this Sonar Cube server can able to access this database. This would be a communication problem. I mean to say uh, to connect to your EC2 instance with RDS. So make sure that you have enabled it in the security group level. And uh, I'm logging into my EC2 instance to install SonarCube for that purpose, taking the public IP address of the system, opening the, sorry, opening the uh, mobile extra and SSH. IP address followed by the key pair use username EC2 minus user. Now I have logged into my sonar cube server become a root clear the screen and uh, as part of second step you must install MySQL client version because from this server I'm going to connect my RDS database instance so for that yum install mysql minus y and also it requires a java so i'm downloading open jdk java install sorry java i'm installing let it get installed once java is installed next thing is you need to download the stable version of sonar cube where uh, you can find in this url let me open this URL and go back to the sonar version. You have the 7.3 and 6.7. You can use either versions, but I'm using the version sonar cube version 6.0 because I have launched T2 micro. If you are going with higher versions, it, be, it may require the higher capacity system. And also I'm using uh, 6.0 from quite long. That's why I'm tempted to use this one. You just uh, download this package. I have already given the URL. So let's clear the screen. Go to OPT directory. Let's go and see. Nothing is there. Wget is a command to download directly onto your uh, EC2 instance. And uh, it has been downloaded. Now unzip. So unzip sonar cube. Once it is unzipped, clear the screen ls you can find the sonar cube 6.0 version let me rename this sonar cube uh, directory just to, to 
sonar okay i have renamed sonar cube uh, directory to sonar so now we have downloaded but to configure further we should have the some database users and uh, we should create a database uh, in the database server separate database so let's connect to our uh, database server from my ec2 instance to connect take this endpoint of your database server so my sql we just installed minus h host name minus u username and uh, sonar q db this is the username oops u minus p we should provide nothing but to provide the password and the password also same i just given the password and logged in next step is you need to connect to your database yes we have done next to create a database called sonar let's create a database called sonar by using this command if you are not aware of database commands just use the commands as it is okay i can't create because i think i have already created under this one also i might have created these users you can just go through let me check it if it is already exists no need to create if not you can create in your case so i have changed it to database to check it out show databases okay it is there okay i have created uh, before recording this video itself so users okay everything is set up so in your case you just follow these steps to create your database next login back to your ec2 instance and uh, modify your sonar cube properties file let's go back to log out quit clear the screen you are again came back to your ec2 instance under opt you have sonar under sonar you have a config sorry conf directory under conf you fi you find a sonar dot properties file vi sonar dot properties here you need to follow sorry uh, uncomment these entries that is sonar dot jdbc dot user the username is sonar which we just created i mean to say in the database server and password also sonar and we should uncomment uh, mysql database because it has the entries for all the databases rkl mysql post gsql in our case we are using so mysql uncomment this entry then clear this you are in insert mode itself let's let's copy our database server endpoint copied next uh, come back that is about database and if you scroll down a little bit there is a web server entries here you should provide nothing but from where you can connect your sonar cube i want to connect it from anywhere so uncomment this next one more is sonar web con context here you should provide slash sonar that's it you have done the required configuration in the sonar cube server so let's go and see uh, whether our sonar cube uh, we we need to start our sonar cube services so the sonar cube services are available opt sonar and the lib there is a directory called lib under lib linux under not lib we should have go to bin under bin you should have a linux x 8664 version this is the version and uh, here we have a sonar.sh status currently not running let's start it once you have started you can see the status again now it is running once it is running you can connect it from the browser let me uh, take the ip address and connect from the browser i just jumped into my ec2 console again and uh, take the ip address public ip address of our uh, ec2 instance go to url and uh, 9000 slash sonar so now you could able to see the sonar cube is running you can log into your sonar cube uh, server okay i have already logged in 
so if you you are not logged in you can log in as admin admin so it allows you to log into your sonar cube server that's it this is how uh, you can able to install sonar cube on your uh, ec2 instance and uh, in next video i am going to show you how to integrate sonar cube with your jenkins server hope this video helps you and see you in the next video